Welcome back, everybody. We took a break from the ice. We came inside, and we're talking a little bit about robotics right now. Um, this is really cool in Livonia, the program that they have for the kids. It really is. You know, folks in this community told me that they are really proud of how much the adults support the youth and that this area is becoming a hotbed for STEM activity. We are live with the Livonia Warriors right now, and Rebecca, you're one of the teammates of the Livonia Warriors. Tell me about how significant this robotics class, the robotics club, and STEM is in your school district. It's actually really important in our community as a whole. We do tons of events outside of just being a robotics team that involve many young students in STEM. We also do a lot of community service, whether it be helping out Eagle Scout projects or um, epilepsy events. You guys do do a lot. We're going to take a look too. We've got at the shot of this robot. These are some of the young ladies that are programming this and, and running it. You it took what eight weeks? Yeah, it's eight weeks. So when we find out what the competition is in the first Saturday in January, and then after that we have about eight weeks until there's a competition where we can build the robot entirely. This bot is built entirely on our own. Um, there's no like kit of parts that they tell you like. This is how you can start it. It's no Lego set, I guess. This is so cool. I'm so impressed. Okay, this is the high school unit. We've got the middle school over there, Demond. Yeah, the middle school students are here too. And Rebecca, tell Karen about Rebecca, tell Karen about how much of a growing program this is. You said that in this program you have a lot of uh, elementary school students becoming part of it as well? Yeah, so we have seven elementary teams um, and then four um, middle school teams. Okay. Um, so in the middle school teams, there's about 15 max per team, and then at elementary, they do all year round teamwork. This is really impressive, and we, uh, in terms of balancing work, school, not work, but you know, school and all of this, this is, this is really hard for kids. Yeah. I mean, you have to really be dedicated. Yeah, so we meet about four times a week. Um, I think I average up to about 13 hours a week, like I would spend in the robotics center. Um, and then additionally, on to the top of that, competitions are two days yeah. for the high school level. And it's 12-hour competitions. That means you're spending 24 hours at a competition for just one weekend to find out, is your robot really going to work? you got to give a shout-out to some of the parents who take these to um, all these competitions because they're sitting there for hours upon hours cheering for their kids and hoping that they're going to make it to the next level. Yeah, and to those competitions, Rebecca was telling me that the high school robot has won at least two awards. Yeah, so we've won two awards this year for this robot particularly at the district level. But at the top of that, we won an award this year at the international level in Houston. You guys are awesome. You rock. This is so darn cool. Thank you so much for taking the time to show it to us. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks so much, Rebecca. And thanks to all the parents here, too, who have been supporting these students. We appreciate everything that you guys are doing. And look, you know, they told me that this center is a hotbed and that in the city of Livonia, Everybody pretty much knows one another. There's not a family that you don't come across that you don't know is what people are telling me. It is a very special place, that's for sure.